Welcome to the 20 greatest NBA players and legends who shared their thoughts on LeBron James. If you don't know by now, we are doing a 23 part series collection of 23 LeBron James videos in 23 weeks. If you have missed any of the other episodes, there's a playlist link on the top right of your screen and link down below in the description, so be sure to check those videos out. These videos do take a lot of time to edit and piece up all together, so I'd really appreciate if you guys could help me out by hitting that like button. It really goes a long way to supporting the channel, and if you are new and enjoy these types of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button too. And of course, all video, podcast, clips and highlights are on the screen right now and linked down below in the description, so be sure to check them out in their entireties. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so be sure to grab your popcorn, sit back and relax, because here are the 20 greatest NBA players sharing their thoughts on LeBron James. We have never seen in the NBA a player like LeBron James. You know, I, I look at LeBron and, I, and, and what he's done is, is, is mind-blowing uh, with what he's had to work with. He's taken every rookie coach he's had to the NBA Finals. So from an educational standpoint and a knowledge base, where did this brain come from? I mean, he's the Einstein of basketball. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at myself, you look at a Jordan, you look at a Shaq, you know, we, we had Hall of Fame coaches. That came from somewhere. I look at LeBron James and I go, where'd he get all this? Because he can look at your coach, figure out your def defensive scheme. He can look at your substitution pattern. He can read the stat sheet. And then he can, you know, not only re read it, but he can dissect it. Then he can come back and put together a game plan. And then he can go out and implement it. And you just don't walk in from high school with, with no institutional knowledge and dominate a sport for the years that he's dominated. So when you talk about LeBron James, Michael Jordan, I look at from the neck up, not necessarily from the neck down. So are you saying LeBron is better than Michael Jordan? I would pick LeBron James. You would? Yeah, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm trying to build if a team. I'm, if I'm trying to build a team, I'm going with the brain, okay? If, if I got to get 40 points or 50 points, then yeah, I'm, I'm taking a Michael Jordan. LeBron James just came in from high school and said, boom, seven straight finals. I think LeBron James is the most talented player that I've ever seen. And, I'm a, and the reason being, you know, I, sometimes you hear people make a statement, but they don't back it up with nothing. And let me explain to you. LeBron is my size or bigger. About 265, 275. And I would say to do the things that he do, we will never see it again. So all of those haters out there, all of those haters out there, sit back and enjoy. Every now and then, you see a player come through and they, you say, wow. When you look at what LeBron have done and how long that lasted. Unbelievable. It, it's unbelievable, so you give that credit, but I can't, I will not sit here and tell you, start labeling them. People don't know how to take them, so they become haters. Haters need to be aware and say, enjoy this guy. The first time he was in the finals was 2007. I wasn't playing basketball. That's crazy to think about. Basically grew up watching him play. Obviously when you're young, you, you, you follow kind of the hype. Athletic, can dunk over everybody, you know. Guy that goes downhill, he's like a train. You know, bulldoze his way in there, like all that. Which when I came in and I understand, you know, the way he operates is, and this guy's like, he's a genius. He knows how to play the game of basketball. For 21 years, he's been extremely co consistent. You know, he's always available for his team. You know, does what he does, you know, in order for him to win. It's, it's, it's incredible, man. It's totally incredible, but for me, probably if arguably the best player to ever play this game. If not, some guys might say he's number two, but other guys, me, might say he's number one. The things that he is doing on the court now, I, I mean, I, I'm a big Michael Jordan guy. I mean, that was my era, but LeBron's me... making a great argument to, to be, you know, one of the, the greatest, if not the greatest. He's always been a great player, but now he helps, he puts those other guys in a position where they can be successful. And he's learned how to help them against all odds. They were down 3-1. No one gave them a chance to win it, and they were able to put it together. But but really, it it... it it comes down to how much are you willing to sacrifice, right? How much are you willing to 
put everyone else in a position where they can be successful. Who is the player that's playing in the NBA today, Elgin Baylor, that could have held his own in the league while you were playing and with the oh, rules that no you were playing? Oh, no doubt about on. it. LeBron James. I mean, he's like a freak of nature. I mean, this guy, man, he's built like Hercules. I mean, he's 6'8", and I think he weighs like 275 or 280. I mean, he should be out there playing football, too. But, I mean, he is one heck of an athlete. Really good to play with. Really great guy, really great player. If you open, he going to get it to you. He going to get it to you. So that's why, you know, when they talk about LeBron being one of the best ever, I do agree. But, you know, the, the numbers will always be, you know, skewed, whether who's one, two, or three. And it's a great conversation to, to be in. Like, I wish I was in that GOAT conversation. He going to have four rings. You already pass up Kobe. You already pass up Mike. Now he passed up Kareem. So if that don't make him the greatest basketball player is, I don't know, you know, what we're talking about. You know, I always say uh, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Uh, you know, if, if he really surpasses Kareem in the scoring record, I mean, it's uh, I'm, I'm sort of running out of arguments for Michael. I mean, this, what this guy has done has been nothing short of incredible. Their longevity and, you know, I always say, you know, being called king at 15 uh, and how he turned out and what he's done for communities where he played and, and changed so many lives. So uh, he's a very, very special athlete. And um, I think for now, we need to appreciate that uh, watching him and uh, at the level he's playing at. I mean, this is what it is. I told you, man, I said this earlier, man, this is the changing of the guard of everything we've known the game to be. And this is the first parts of the, the transition of now, Bron being king of the hill. When we talk about the GOAT, man, he might be the GOAT. I might, I think, I think that right there probably solidified it. Lord, think about this. Man, he put 40,000. Think about high school, bro. Think how many buckets you not put up. Think about just, though he finna, he gonna, he's gonna have 40, 40,000 points, Pete, <laughs> in the fucking That's NBA, bro. crazy. See, this is what makes him go on top of the list to me. This shit right here. If we talking about shot making, if we talking about ability, we talking about skill, he in all those conversations, but now you're doing some shit where, yeah, the greatest couldn't even do this. Wilt couldn't do this. Jordan couldn't do this. 38. Man, 38 in the league is really like 45. Lord, you know what's so crazy? He's such a good, he's such a humble kid, such a humble guy. He, he ain't go, he ain't step on everybody like he could have. Y'all, everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> everybody shut the fuck up. It's over. Ain't nothing to talk about no more, right? Man. Everybody in their lane now. And for some reason, <clears throat> I don't know why, I think a lot of people don't give him his just due sometime because he's such an incredible player. He's a Swiss Army knife. He does everything. Uh, rebound, passes, block shots, scores the ball. And I think when he leaves the game, I think his legacy will be huge. I think near where Jordan's legacy has been. But this player, um, someone I admire a lot, I mean, he, he competes every night. There's no, he doesn't take nights off. Do you think LeBron James is up there with the greatest players of all time? Yes. According to the, to the position that he plays, you know, I don't, when people start comparing him with, like, with Jordan, then that's not a fair comparison. Because, you know, that's, you know, Jordan's far more superior player. I mean, that's not taking away anything away from LeBron James, because he's a great player. But it's not a fair comparison, because I think Jordan is much far superior player. LeBron is not as good as Michael Jordan? Come on. What do you think? The pride is in a class by himself. What is legacy anyway? You know, if a guy can play or he can't play. Well, legacy is after, after you're through with the game and gone, and look back on your career. All this legacy stuff people talk about before a guy even finishes playing, it's just, just TV talk. Let, let's talk about the Michael LeBron thing. They played in different eras. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the in my opinion, they're right there. You can, it's either A or B. Okay. LeBron James is the only one who didn't struggle right away. Right. He came in and was a good player. He wasn't great, great, great right away, but he was a good player. Right. But also in this generation where everybody's got a cell phone and people out to get you, he's never gotten in trouble. He's exceeded what 
Dream big. expectations. Any expectations. And to never get in trouble in this generation. Uh, like I say, you know, everybody's got a cell phone now. People are deliberately trying to get you. Yes. I think it's the greatest sports story ever. It's like when he was in his 14th, 15th year, I was just like, when he's the 17th, 18th year, it's just like, damn, that's actually is dope. When you're 39 in your 20th year, and then like half your life is in a league, and then you played against like 40% of the players that have ever played in the league, it's just like, that longevity has to mean something. That has to be a standard. Like, if you really, truly want to know what greatness is like, of course you can accumulate championships in a short amount of time and accolades in a short amount of time. You can have a nice, quick spurt of moment. But, like, I truly appreciate somebody who's been in that shit for a long time. There is no denying, like, his greatness in terms of what he can do on the court. And, like, sometimes you're in, even when you're playing against him, you're in awe because mm -hmm. it's, like, the way he can control the tempo of the game. The way he can dominate scoring, passing, you know, just his overall just presence and his IQ, like all that stuff. Like we all talk about it. And you have to appreciate your competition if you want to beat him because there's got to be that, you know, as coach would call it, the appropriate fear. Absolutely. But um, <laughs> people always compare eras too, right? And they always say we're more buddy-buddy than eras of past because there ain't no fights on the court. Like we all work out with each other. You got business crossover friendships like all that stuff off the court and they always talk about like that's ruining the game he's an amazing basketball player um and he brings the best out of you and you know you have to be your best if you're gonna try to beat him and i think he feels vice versa um and so you uh, you love those um experiences um somebody's got to win and it's part of the nature of what, what we're dealing with um, but there's so much respect and um, again appreciation for the, the the battles and the experiences and the back and forth because it's basketball at the highest level and that's all you can ask for are you aware that there are some of your diehard fans that have an issue with LeBron being termed as part of the family yeah culture? I, I hear that but it, you know listen if you're a fan of mine you're a fan of winning and uh, whether you're a fan of his or not, if you were a fan and you don't agree with what he's saying and now he just lost a fan, he's fine with that because he's going to do what's right. And I think that's a great example for all of us. Well, I mean, I'm of the mindset that his legacy as one of the all-time greats is already sealed. Yeah. I mean, that, that's well, kind of, he's already done that. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, would agree, you would agree with that assessment, yeah. obviously, right? Yeah. I think, you know, for me, I'm sure for Brian as well, is, you know, the way we approach the game, the same way we approach life. You do the right thing. You make the right play. You make the right play. And in life, it's the same thing. What do you feel in your heart is the right thing to do? And you do that. You know, it seems so simple, but sometimes the simplest things are the hardest things to do. Like, he's going to do what's right. And uh, we're about winning championships. So they'll, they'll fall in line. You could just tell what he was going to be and who he was going to be, and uh, that he was going to be such a dominant player for such a long time. And uh, uh, it, was, it was great playing games early and again uh, late in my career. Um, and just watching his, his, his trajectory uh, of his career, you just, just could see it coming. Um, but uh, uh, playing against a, a, a young LeBron and an, old, and an older LeBron, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, two different players, two totally different players, and it was, it, was, it was fun to watch and be a part of. As far as playing basketball, you've got to enjoy this guy. If you're a basketball fan, you've got to sit back and go, wow, how do he do that? Or I always say, boy, I wish I had his speed, yeah. you know? But some of the stuff that kid does out there, he's by far our best player in this league. I don't by think, far? I don't think there's really anyone next to him. I think he's there, then you go down the list. You, you, you always talk about the great play. I tell people, quit whining about LeBron. Enjoy him while he's here. He, he's unbelievable. I mean, he's one of the greatest, if not the greatest ever. Then, then you go back, I played against Magic, Michael, Kareem. I mean, the list goes on and on. So it's hard to pick one guy, uh, but I mean, it just seems like everybody in their era thinks their era is the best. I don't buy sure. any of that. You right. Know, things change. There's nobody at that height and size that can move that fast and also go through contact and still score. We've never seen it before. Right. Right. And 
still make his teammates better. So he's leading in so many different ways. He can score, he can defend, he can rebound, he, he can assist. We've never seen that as a guy that size and that fast and that strong. Right. But also we forget he's the smartest dude. Right. His basketball IQ is so far above everybody else. He reads situation. He reads the game. He could do it all. And I think at the end of the day, to pass two Lakers, you're on the Lakers. Right. And now you're going to pass me and then eventually Kareem to be the all-time leading scorer and number three all-time in assists? Right. Wow. Wow. (laughs) You got to give it to him. Yeah. So who do you think is the greatest player of all time? I, I think we can't determine that. Um, it, it's it's impossible to determine it. The circle has to keep getting bigger because there's more and more great players coming through mm-hmm. uh, that deserve to be in in, in the circle. So uh, you know, I just uh, try to acknowledge everybody, and uh, you know, I, I let the people that go to sports bars they can argue about it and order their wings and their their brews, and they can start <laughs> arguing. But we're not going to figure this one out. <laughs> LeBron's career is one of uh, someone who planned to dominate this game. And he immediately started to uh, have his effect. And, uh, you know, it's, it's gone for uh, almost 20 years now. So I think that, uh, you know, you got to give him credit for just the way that he planned to last and to dominate. Disappointment to me, to win, you got to lose. To be successful, you got to have something that's not successful. 2005, they voted me as like the best or the most popular athlete. You know, it's ironic that I'm the youngest of the three. So in essence, it's it's all relevated on who is watching now. Uh, If you ask 20 years from now, I'm pretty sure LeBron may beat me, you know, know, based on who's going to be making the voting. So if you ask me, I can never give you an opinion about things like that because as an athlete, all you want to do is be the best athlete you can be. But we play in different eras. He's, he's an unbelievable player. Yeah, he's one of the best players in the world, uh, if not the best player in the world. Uh, I know it's a natural tendency to compare eras to eras, and you know, it's going to continue to happen. I'm a fan of his. I love watching him play. But it's, you know, as you can see, our, our league is starting to expand on very talented players. And the, you know, I think he's made his mark. He will continue to do so over a period of time. But When you start the comparisons, I think it is what it is. You know, it's just a standard measurement. You know, I I take it with a grain of salt. He is a heck of a basketball player, without a doubt. And let me know what you thought about this video down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy it, please help me out by hitting that like button, subscribe if you are new, and here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy. So be sure to check them out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.